Uh, Bortle here at the PPG Pro Tour Dallas tournament with, whoa, second place, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name's Taylor Massey. Uh, I got waxed by Cam, the man new. <laughs> oh, Cam? <laughs> in hey, the finals. Man. He's the man, dude. You made it to the finals? Yeah. Nice. So what deck, man? Uh, I was playing Salad Boys. Salad Boys? Yeah. Oh, let's see the goo, dude. Yeah. We played the worst card in the deck. Uh, but you have to play it. Yeah, plus one. Uh, three Foxy, it gets you to the best card in the deck. Gazelle. Oh, yeah. Uh, two Spinny. We were playing three, but you don't need it. Yeah. Uh, foul. Ooh, nice. This is low key the best card in the mirror. Uh, yeah, there was a time nice. I played Mark right before the finals, and you summon this, and I hit his roar, and then uh, twinned his other two back row, and then. Just broke his whole board and set up a dweller play. Oh, so you played uh, March St. Romain in top four? I had to run the epic gauntlet. Oh, there you go, man. <laughs> You're almost there, man. Yep. Uh, one Jaguar, one Falco. This card's really good in the mirror match. You just keep recycling your gazelle and summoning it again. Uh, that's it for salads. And three Phantasme, three Ash, three Ogre, and three Valor. Uh, this might become impermanence just because of the pendulum deck and oh, jackal yeah. king is kind of ridiculous yeah. how but did the triple ogre do for you i feel like ogre was insane it's really good against the pendulum deck it's okay in the mirror match usually you just ogre the first card you can hit and they go they have to have another extender in order to play That's, uh, uh, and it's you good against striker yeah have you ever, anyone else uh, ogred like a lady debug and they like pass Yes. yes. I mean, it happened to me in the finals. Oh, damn. And it's really relevant in... It's obviously relevant in the Pendulum matchup, but what people are usually doing is they're hitting the Servant. But what I end... I played four Pendulums yesterday. What you end wow. up doing is you Ogre the Electromite, and then because it's fire on your turn, if you have any of the one card... Any of the salads that summon themselves back, you have a one card Ningirsu. So you make the Hida and summon their Electromite, make Ningirsu, send the boss monster, and then full combo, make the whole board. And that's it for monsters. For spells, uh, this is the difference between mine and Cam's list. He's playing triple called by, but I chose to play double twin and the foul. I thought I was gonna play a lot more striker and I thought it was good against Pendulum when I go first. Uh, and I'm tired of losing to Inspector Border, set four pass. Oh, yeah. uh, so this was really, it was really good when I drew it. I didn't want to play three. I didn't want to see more than one. Uh, three shared ride. This card was actually really nice when I drew it against Striker. It's okay in the mirror. It forces them to send Falco and reset their trap so they can't wolf back. They can't bay link. Yeah. Uh, it puts your opponent in a really awkward spot. Worst case, they ash it, which usually happened, and then I would resolve Phantasme. So. I'd probably play this again. Yeah, Maxi took one out. Uh, three circle and one sanctuary. We didn't play Will or Fusion of Fire. Those cards are bricks and you don't want to see them unless you're playing the mirror match. And Will gets ogred or twinned or popped. And it's only good if your hand is already good. It's just a, an extender if you already have a good hand. Then for traps, three solemn strike. Roar and Rage. Everybody says this card sucks, but usually what happens in the Striker matchup is you'll you'll end up making Dweller with uh, any Salamangrate monster, and then you just Rage all of their whole board under Dweller, and they can't do anything. Wow. It's pretty nice against Pendulums, too. <laughs> this card's crazy against Pendulums. Uh, so, a uh, 40 card main? Yep. Ooh, perfect 40, nice. And then Side Deck. This is what we're still having trouble figuring out. Uh, three panker tops. <laughs> yeah, there, there'll be a story uh, with the best card in the side deck. This card is so gimmicky. Uh, there was one game where I, uh, I was playing the mirror match and he attacked me and I circled. And then he attacked again and I summoned the Paro and protected it. And then he set Roar, and so my turn came. I Tribute summoned the Panker Tops and popped his Roar and then Paro to gain 2,000, and I ended up winning by 100. Whoa. <laughs> and then uh, 
somebody summoned an inspector border and I made a Balinx and summoned this when he attacked and they crashed into the border and he just ended up losing that game. Oh, so that's the out of border, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the only out. Uh, three Lancia. I feel like you have to play this card. There, were, I didn't play anything that I put it in against, uh, but Orcus is still scary. Uh, two anti-spell in order. Um, I might play a third anti-spell. I feel like order is good against striker, but anti-spell hits pendulums, which I think is a lot more relevant. And then if you open the negate, anti-spell is order against striker. So pendulums can still play under order too, so I might cut this. I don't know. I might cut, there's one card in my side deck that wasn't that great. Uh, the third twin, super poly, uh, just good cards. I didn't play Fusion of Fire. And then this card came in hot when I saw it. 3D barrier. It was mostly for, work got in the way, so I didn't know what all the pendulum cards did. So I lost round one to pendulums and I never lost to that deck again. Uh, this was for Pendulums and Necroz, and nobody's respecting Necroz. I feel like that deck is really scary against Salad. We kind of have a hard matchup against it. Especially Vanny's Ruler A. Yes. <laughs> so we ha I think you have to play this card, but this might come out for Fusion of Fire and okay. other cards. And then extra deck. Play three Bailings. Um, where's Wolf? Three Wolf. Standard. Two Heat Leo. One Chimera. Dweller. Stalio. Uh, we played Borolod and Ngirsu. Um, I feel like you need both of these cards. It's really hard to make this card unless you have a Heat play and they don't have anything. So I played uh, another Guru player, and I raged his whole. I raged all three cards, and I hit uh, Waking the Dragon. Oh man! And I didn't know how to out it, and you. It took me. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but the out is you summon Borload, and then you link it off into uh, with like a fire to make Hita. Where's Hita? So you make Hita. And then you bring back a card, and then you make Heat Leo, and then you Heat Leo target the Borload, make it 3,000, and then spinny it, and then attack into the Ultimate Falcon and protect it with Bailinx. Whoa. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, so I outed the Falcon, and the guy just scooped. Wow. Yeah, and then uh, Phoenix. Um, is that all 15? Yeah. yeah, I think it's all 15. I kind of wish I played the second Hita. Oh, yeah? Uh, I think you really need a second Hita with every deck playing Fires. Uh, how was your PvG experience? Overall, it was pretty fun. Um, not that many people. I think it was, what, 180 people or so? Yeah. But the caliber of players that I played was much higher than something at, like, a regional. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I mean, every round I played somebody from Epic, PPG, Omega... Um, so I, it was a, it was a lot more fun playing players that know what they're doing than sitting in a regional and only playing real games like the last three or four rounds. Yeah. Um, it was really fun. I think it was good practice for Nats, and I'm excited for Knoxville coming up. Oh yeah, most definitely. Any shoutouts? Just Team Game Master from Outlet, Team Epic, Pedro, Dawood, Morgan for the lucky pin. <laughs> And just everybody that's been helping me get better. Mo mostly Team Epic. Oh, that's what's up. Well, congrats on second place, man. Yeah. Thanks. Portal out.